Hello, my name is Suman. I'm a senior from South Korea, currently studying at Minerva University, and this is my day in London. On weekdays, I usually wake up around 8 or 9 a.m. I like to start my day by checking the weather and getting some fresh air outside the balcony of the Minerva dorm that I live in. A few days a week, I like to go out on a morning walk to experience the city. Minerva's rest hall is located in a popular area of Clerkenwell with lots of nice restaurants and cafes nearby. The location has a walking distance to many famous sites in London, like the British Museum, the Bloomsbury Square, and the King's Cross Station, so I like to spend some mornings getting to know the city like a local. Today, I stopped by St. Paul's Cathedral. As I wrap up my morning walk and come back home, let me show you guys where I live. The common area on the first floor of Minerva's Rest Hall in London is where I hang out, study, and chill with my friends. Among all, the space that I love the most is this cozy and relaxing space called The Snug, which can be booked to run small events or for personal uses like interview prep. And here's the flat where I live with two other roommates. At my flat, we have a pretty big living room along with an open kitchen. The London Rest Hall is my favorite because it's fully equipped and each flat has their own kitchen, refrigerator, and laundry machine. It makes me feel like I'm living in the city as a local resident rather than a typical college student stuck in a campus bubble. Minerva doesn't have a physical campus. Instead, the city is literally our campus. We find the best cafes or workspaces to do our work, attend local events, and seek unique opportunities. I can really feel myself grow as I experience each Minerva City's unique yet diverse cultural aspects. Today, I came to study at Gales, one of the most famous bakeries in London. And I'm not here alone. Meet my friend and roommate Julia. Julia's been my roommate for most of my Minerva years. We help each other out in schoolwork, support each other mentally, and basically just have lots of fun together. I double major in business and CS, and right now I'm prepping for my CS course called Finding Patterns in Data with Machine Learning. In this course, we learn machine learning concepts such as classification, cross-validation, and neural networks to understand how to use and code algorithms and make sense of a wide range of data. It's not an easy course, but I'm really enjoying its challenge and practicality. After my morning studying, I normally come back to the rest hall for lunch. Minerva has purposely left the cafeteria out of this rest hall so that the students can learn how to cook and feed themselves as young adults. This was quite challenging for me at first, but it also helped me grow and learn how to take care of myself in a balanced way. Especially in London, I've been eating in more often, trying to cook for most of my meals like this. Alright, time for my actual CS class, the only class I have for the day. At Minerva, all classes are taught on Minerva's active learning platform called Forum, which focuses on discussions, debates, and collaborative works rather than passive memorization. Instead of having midterms and finals, students receive their grades based on each assignment, as well as class contribution and performances. So then is maximum likelihood biased? Is it a biased estimator? Yes, because we concluded that on average, even if we get everything else correct, um, on average it will be wrong, even though it may be wrong only to a small amount, it will on average be wrong a bit, at least. Yeah, ex exactly right. And, and we can hope that as we observe more and more data, that the amount that we're wrong sort of decreases and tends towards zero. All right, now that I'm done with class, I hit the gym and take a break from work for a while. And now, time for dinner. Tonight, I decided to order something on Too Good To Go, which is an app made to fight food waste. It connects customers to buy food from cafes, restaurants, and even groceries that didn't get sold that day at a cheap price. It was introduced by Minerva's student life team in London, as sustainability is one of the most emphasized themes in the city. And I've been really enjoying this app ever since. Tonight, I was craving for a bit of French food, so let's order from a French restaurant nearby. Yay, my food is here, so let's dig in. My surprise order was a delicious tarte filet, a French dish made with potatoes, cheese, lardons, and onions. 
As a senior at Minerva, I always spend a few hours every day on my capstone. Capstones are projects completely directed, owned, and presented by students before graduating. It's an opportunity for us to integrate what we learned at Minerva while exploring our passions and developing crucial skills. Everyone has different capstone ideas and formats, such as coding a simulation, writing a research paper, or devising a business proposal. For my capstone, I'm applying my business and CS double major background to prototype different solutions for dog owners to better learn whether dogs can eat certain foods or not. Today, I'm working on my capstone project overview presentation that I'll share with my professors for feedback. As a senior looking back, my Minerva journey has been a pleasant ride. Going to a baseball game to do an assignment of applying game three to actual sports events, Enjoying community events around different cities like San Francisco, Seoul, and Hyderabad with my lovely classmates. Starting off a semester with a silent disco night on the top of Bernal Heights in San Francisco. Introducing cuisines from my home country, Korea, to my classmates. Breaking chon instead of breaking bread. Having some more community events. Meeting and learning from new people experiencing different cultural aspects, and just having a great time with my friends. And all these experiences and memories brought me where I am now. Though I'll be graduating soon, I'm 100% positive that what Minerva has given me will get me through all the new and exciting adventures coming ahead. Well, that's all for now. At Minerva, there really is no typical day because we all have different priorities and experiences in each city. But regardless, I hope you've enjoyed spending a day with me today. Alright, time for bed. Thank you and good night.